What's going on today, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you guys tuning in. As always, make sure you're subscribed. So, we just walked into the shop. Uh, it is a nasty-ass Saturday. It's Labor Day weekend. It's getting ready to start pissing and pouring, actually. Uh, but I'm all dirty because we poured a pole barn this morning. Didn't worry about changing coals or anything because we're going to go ahead and drop the tank out of the 05 truck here, get all the diesel drained out, and get all the old fuel system, what's left of the fuel system anyway, completely ripped out of the truck, get everything prepped and ready for install of the new parts. Um, we've got, like I say, we've got a new air dog pump coming, new CP3, you got, got a whole new fuel system coming, and we're going to be putting a beam sump on the bottom of our tank. So I, I want to drop it out. I'm not going to take the bed off. Uh, I'm just gonna bust the tank straps loose, tank straps loose, and drop the tank. Uh, but first things first, we gotta get all the diesel drained out. So you guys know it can be a messy job, especially if we got some old stinky diesel in here, uh, which I expect there to be quite a bit of crud in the bottom of this tank. Um, I've never had my eyes in it. Tank's never been drained completely out. Um, so you never know what the hell you're gonna find. But we're gonna go ahead, uh, we're gonna modify our stock sending unit um, because we're doing away with it, we're going to have a return and feed coming from our bean sump. So we got some modifying we got to do to the top hat on the top of the tank. So we got our hands full. We got plenty to do. Um, we're just kind of getting everything situated. Also, uh, we found a place to drop off this head. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and wait because I am going to do the valve springs myself on it. So I'm waiting on a valve spring compressor tool to come in the mill so I can pop in valve springs out before we take it off. Um, we, we got all kinds of stuff coming for the 05 truck. Um, so just real quick, let me get the truck up in the air, or at least a little bit up in the air. I'm gonna get my plethora of buckets out over there. <laughs> Dad, got some more fuel coming for you. Uh, no, but uh, so I'm gonna get the truck up in the air a little bit, decide where we're gonna put our sump at. And I think before we even get into anything else, we're just gonna go ahead and get the fuel draining out of the tank. So let's get to it. So we got the truck up in the air just a little bit. Um, I'm, I wasn't gonna go full tilt just yet because I don't want the damn, I don't want diesel splattering everywhere. Um, but so before we get started, go ahead. You're gonna wanna get your cheapo drill. If you've got a cheaper drill, um, just because I haven't yet, I haven't ruined the drill doing any of these tanks or doing any of these sumps anyway, um, but it's very, very likely to get diesel down in your drill and probably kill your damn drill. So if you got a cheaper one, go ahead, use it. Or you can use the paper plate method. You can just poke a hole in your paper plate, put it on there, try to catch all the fuel you can. Um, but I found it works just as good. Get your old shitty drill, plug your hole, good to go. Might have a little bit of cleanup, but old trusty, she's still going. Still going strong. So let me lay it down here. We are directly underneath the tank. That kind of looks like a sad face. <laughs> uh, so right here is where your factory sending unit, it'll go straight up. That's where your sending unit lays. You're not really ever gonna wanna put your stump right below your sending unit because it could mess up with fuel flow. Um, that's not always the case, but from the ones I've done, that's definitely the case. So we're just gonna venture over this way just a tad and go boom, right about here. There is usually a tank separator somewhere. So once you get your tank down, you may have to finagle with something a little bit, but it's just stay away from your sending unit. That's the only advice I can really give you. Only solid advice anyway. <laughs> so right about here is where we're gonna plug our hole. And once I get the tank down, I'll show you guys a little bit more what I'm talking about. But we're gonna get the diesel draining and then we're gonna come up from this way over top of the tank or the exhaust. The drive shaft would be right here. So as you guys can see, if you want to take your drive shaft out, that would help tremendously. What's up, guys? Um, that would help tremendously. But we're just going to snake over top, and we're going to disconnect our factory feed and our factory return line. And you've got an electrical connection. You just got a couple connections up there you're going to want to disconnect. Um, so that's what we're going to do. But first things first, let's go ahead and plug this hole and get the messy bit out of the way. Go out on a limb here. I think that may be about the smoothest job I've ever done with that drill. Most time I at least get a little bit of diesel on me, but yeah, ruggy here. I mean, there's a little bit, but shit. Uh, if I don't say so myself, 
So now, our only job for now until this tank is empty is gonna be to watch these damn buckets and make sure they don't overfill. Um, because of the past two, two jobs, the past two times I've done this, I think I had two buckets overfill on me and you talk about a damn mess, trying to scoot a five gallon bucket plumb full of diesel while it's overflowing, it don't work. So we're gonna hang out. We got a pretty good stream. We went with a little bit uh, bigger gauge bit so we can make sure and get this thing drained out pretty good or drained out pretty quick, I should say. So we're gonna hang out with these buckets until this damn thing's empty. I didn't even check my fuel gauge, but I think there was about a half a tank of fuel. Um, but uh, yeah, we're not even gonna do anything. Uh, so I'll just catch you guys whenever this damn tank is empty. How much would y'all give me right now? <laughs> a little too close for comfort, boys. Ain't happening. I'm not sure if I ever mentioned it in a video before. Uh, I don't think I have. Um, but if you guys are curious as to how I got my truck so damn low, it's a 2005 four-wheel drive 2500. On the rear, we just removed a bunch of leaves out of the leaf pack, um, like the overload spring, uh, and maybe one or two others. I don't remember for sure. Um, but... Uh, two inch lowering shackles as well on the rear. Um, but for the front, all we did, <laughs> you guys guessed it, easy maintenance. No, but uh, we, I think I took three coals, maybe two, two or three coals hacked off of the spring. Um, the only thing you're gonna wanna make sure when you do that is just make sure that you cut the bottom because the top has to be able to seat your little uh, shock tower, cushion, whatever you wanna call it, isolator cup, I think is what they call it actually. Um, you just make sure you cut the right side, don't cut the wrong side. Um, but that's what we did. We cut some coals out of the spring. There you go, XO Faxo. We got a lowered truck. So, about 20 damn gallons later, the tank is just about done draining. I was about to get impatient and get the old hole saw out and plug the holes to drain a little quicker, but I just organized some stuff and moved some old exhaust from up there and put it up there. You guys can see my top shelf sagging a little bit, getting a little too much weight on the old press wood up there. Um, so, but right now, what I am gonna do before I pull the tank, because there is gonna be quite a bit of fuel still kind of sitting in the nooks and crannies in that tank, I'm gonna get our hole saw out of our beans machine sump kit. And beans hooks it absolutely up. If I can get that to close again. There you go, Bean Machine, Beans Diesel Performance. They supply you with your sump, and we got a feed and drain on here. We, uh, on the Good Buddy Mark's truck that we did a while back, we put a uh, mini sump on it, so it's just got a supply. So it, not all sumps have a feed and a return. Some of them just have a feed. Um, but so, they supply you with your necessary three inch hole sole. Um, all your fittings, you got instructions, all that good stuff. But all we're going to use right now is just our little hole saw. We'll deal with this when it comes time for installation. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to plug the hole the rest of the way. Make sure all the diesel's out that I can. Try to save from making a mess and getting diesel all over myself. Um, so let's get under here, finish plugging the hole, and we can go ahead and start getting all the rest of the stuff yanked out and drop the damn tank. So, got a little bit more diesel on us that time, but not a big deal. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, get the truck all the way up in the air, and I can actually show you guys. I just missed that little tank divider. I don't even know what it is. You guys have to fill me in on it. Um, but there's like a little tank divider in the tank, um, and I just barely missed it. If I'd have been a little bit more to the left, towards the front, I think I would have ran straight up into it and. Uh, would have been in a little bit of trouble. So anyway, you know, let's just go ahead. Let's get up in the air. So here you guys go. There's the front of the truck. Come up in our little hole here. You guys can see that little tank divider, screen, 
filter, whatever you want to call it. And then look back this way, there's our factory sending unit. So you do not want to plug right here below the sending unit because it's liable to run into it and mess up fuel flow. And this is actually more the center of the tank here anyway. So if you can get right in between, now like I say, tanks are just about different between every year model truck. They, these might be the same, this is an 05, so it may be the same from 04 and a half to 07, I think. Um, and then the older generation, like 03 to 04, they could be different, I don't really know. Different sub models, but there's a lot of different tanks out there, so just, do your research use your due diligence you guys know the deal you can kind of see where we kind of nicked it with the whole saw just a little bit we may even trim a little piece of that back anyway um, but that's what i was talking about anyway um, we're going to go ahead and come over here oh, we're going to come up top side here we're going to weasel on in here old rusty crusty and we're going to disconnect our feed line here and we're going to if it'll focus we're going to disconnect our return here, and then we've got, see if I can get my hand in here, we've got an electrical connection right here. You guys can see the where my finger is, that's an electrical connection there. And you guys can tell, that's how you know this is an old style, air, old style, god dang, blah, 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 blah. old style air dog pump. Um, they use the old style fittings and everything. They use black hose now, and they use push lock fittings rather than these this metal junk here um let me see if i can go ahead and do this with one hand i don't think i'm gonna be able to kind of a weird angle fellas oh i don't know hey got her of course there's gonna be some diesel leakage there too but that's our uh feed line from the air dog pump you guys can get a little bit better look at the electrical connection now i'm gonna have to get a flathead screwdriver to bust it loose and then these could be a little bit of a pain in the ass too um, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to get these disconnected, and then we'll move on to our tank strap bolts and drop the oil and our fuel neck. we got to disconnect it, disconnect it too, but that's no big deal. It's just a measly hose clamp. So let's just go ahead, Ugh, see if I can wiggle out of here. Hang on. We're just going to go ahead, I'm going to get everything disconnected that I can, and I'll catch you guys whenever we're dropping the tank. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm pulling the tank from a damn truck like this has got to be one of the nastiest, messiest damn jobs that there is. And there's a bunch to do on these damn trucks. I mean, good God. There's gunk everywhere, there's rust everywhere on the straps. Straps are in pretty decent shape, but there's rust buildups. You guys can tell where the straps laid and everything. And just all this grime and crud on top. And I got shit in my eye, like, God, I'm bitching like a woman now. <laughs> no, but it, it's not that big a deal. Um, I did, though, just so I had a little bit more room. Uh, my return and my feed, as you guys can see, it's got arrows. It's got a return to the tank, you know, feed to your lift pump and CP3. Um, I went ahead, left those hooked up, dropped the, or un undid the tank straps, lowered the tank some, and you can get a little bit better access to these bad boys here. Um, I'm not too sure what's going on with my plug there. If we've got a short somewhere, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but it is pretty grimy, pretty crusty. Uh, I'm not going to do anything else with the tank in this video. Uh, I'm going to take it home. I'm going to yank the sending unit out, uh, do some work on it. I've got a previous video on that. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to go check it out, how I modify the stock sending unit. Um, but I'm going to yank it out. Uh, I'm going to take it home, degrease it, pressure wash it, do the works on it, um, just to get it nice and clean. Like I say, you guys don't need to see that. Go check out my previous video if you want to see inside the tank, all that good shit. Um, but now, I am going to go ahead while I'm under here and while i got access to everything. I'm going to clean up everything, hit some rust, hit, hit some uh, rust with some rust proof paint while I'm underneath here. Just tidy it up just a little bit. Uh, just, just keep me happy. <laughs> Um, but what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to leave, obviously, the factory return. This is your factory return right here. I'm going to go ahead and leave it because your factory return will go 
uh, all the way up to the back of your head and to where your fuel filter housing would be. I've got the fuel filter delete. It runs right in line there, it connects to your fuel filter housing and then shoots up to the back of the head. That's what we removed uh, the banjo fitting from the back side of the head. But our, uh, our factory feed, we're gonna go ahead and pull it all the way out. Um, we do already have it. Let me see if I can get up here. Where are we at? Right here. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I don't know if, yeah, you guys can see it. I got it folded over right here. Because like I say, there's the banjo fitting. That's what runs up to your uh, CP3 injection pump. Um, since we've got the air dog, we're not utilizing that at all. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to cut these zip ties, get it yanked out. Go ahead and pull it out with the old air dog pump. Um, so let me get some tools out. Let me get a little bit more situated. And we'll go ahead and keep yanking shit out. So our uh, factory fuel lines and actually one hard brake line are just held on by a series of these little clips. This little bad boy, it pops open. Of course, now I can't. It pops open though, it's like a little flathead screwdriver. You pop open and then you just got these little clips here. And then you've got one more right yonder. Uh, that's how they're held on, just pop them loose and then just work the, fa or the factory um, feed line out the back and then you kind of work it forward, you can get it out. There it is, laying over on the ground. Uh, diesel all over the place per usual. I got about three of them factory feed lines laying around now intact. So if you need one, hit up your boy. <laughs> but now we're just gonna go ahead and keep on keeping on. We've got the aftermarket feed from our air dog. Just drained all the fuel out of it that I could. As you guys can tell, we're trying not to make a mess, but uh, you're still gonna get a little messy. Um, so got that fuel drained out a little bit and i've been working on uh my electrical connection here uh this big old rack's nest of wires uh air dog is not this messy the guy had this truck before me put this air dog pump on actually um and i don't know if he did or if he paid some jack leg i'm not 100 percent sure um i don't even know what the hell they're splicing into here to be honest with you guys I do not know. Um, so we're just gonna keep stripping shit down. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect all the fuel lines from our air dog and disconnect our little electrical connection. And I've got a fuel pressure sensor uh, on top of the air dog, which I'll go over in a future upload because not a lot of people know about the location for a fuel pressure sensor on top of the air dog housing. Um, so I'm gonna get everything disconnected, yank the air dog down, um, get everything routed up towards the engine bay so I can lower the truck down to the ground and get everything else yanked out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the CP3 pump in. We'll do it in a different video whenever our new CP3 comes in. Um, but so I know a lot of talking, uh, a lot of B-roll, uh, but we're getting shit done so that we can get this truck happy and back on the damn road. So sit back and enjoy. So a few diesel spills later, we have got all of the air dog system out. Got that old air dog pump laying over here. You guys can see it's it's had better days. Um, this was the fuel pressure sensor uh, little port I was telling you guys about. I'll talk more about that in a future upload. Stay tuned for that for sure. Uh, I'm sure some of you know, but a lot of you probably don't. Um, so that's pretty cool, but we've got 
the old air dog 100 pump out uh got diesel everywhere you guys can see our footprints going everywhere man it makes my anxiety flare up like crazy whenever i've got a nasty ass shop but whatever it's cool um we're gonna go ahead we've got the electrical connections all disconnected i'm just gonna lower the truck down and we're gonna go up in the engine bay here i've got my uh inline fuse bolted to the firewall um and i've got a couple connections zip tied up there you guys know the deal zip ties everywhere um but so i am just gonna clean up and uh, hit the frame with some rust proof paint right here um, because we're gonna be relocating our air dog to the inside of the frame right back here, kind of right across from the transfer case. Pretty much the same spot, but on the inside and back just a little bit further. Kind of on the inside, right after this bump, but on the inside. Um, I like mounting everything on the inside of the frame, nice and clean. Um, you'll still be able to see it hanging down just a little bit for you hot boys. You guys can see, let me see. Um, my 2000 out there see the air dog right there hanging down it's on the inside of the frame i'm actually going to try to tuck this one i'm going to try to tuck this one up just a little bit more oh god i got you guys on wide hang on beep, 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 boop. there we go um i think good gosh yeah that's it <laughs> i got this new camera it is above me um so just real fast let me lower the truck down we'll jump in the engine bay um, disconnect all of our electrical connections uh, and we may just go ahead and get everything out of the way to get the CP3 ready to be removed um, and I don't know what the hell we're what the hell else we're gonna do in this video when I'm gonna learn to talk one of these days <laughs> mm, <my God. laughs> It actually did hurt like a biatch. Rock that scab right on off air. Let me get this cleaned up and I'll catch up with you guys. All right, cool. So, we well, got the lift pump harness, lift pump harness all yanked out of the truck. Made me rip all open all my damn wire loom, make everything look all messy again. Now, no big deal though. We're going to come back, redo a lot of the wiring. I'm going to try to tuck a lot of this wiring out of the way. Um, that, that's all for future uploads. You guys know the deal. Um, but so here's everything that came out of the truck. Um, man, am I glad that Airdog continued to progress, develop, whatever you want to call it, grow. Um, because this old style shit, it just does not work with me. Um, especially working with their new stuff. My God. Am I glad that they upgraded? Um, these old metal fittings are all rusty and crusty and everything. Uh, old blue hose looks like shit, if you ask me. Um, all these these push lock fittings, they're the bee's knees, uh, but not how they're connected on here. I assume you have to crush them onto the push lock fitting. I don't know for sure. You guys can leave it in the comment section below how that shit works. Uh, but nonetheless, I'm glad that we are upgrading um now i don't think i'm gonna do anything else uh, but the cp3 is theoretically ready to pull um just you know, i can go ahead pull that bad boy off um there's just three bolts holding it on you gotta pop off your uh cp3 shaft cover right here and you've got a nut and a washer behind there and you're gonna want to get either you can use a steering wheel puller you can use one of those but i've actually got a cp3 gear remover uh, CP3 removal tool, whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, my words aren't working with me today. Um, but it's real easy, pretty simple. Just a couple little steps that you don't want to miss because you can mess some shit up. Um, but I do think I'm going to go ahead and dedicate an upload to the CP3 and whatnot. Um, that's for a later date, just like the rest of the shit.
I got all the trucks situated and out of the way. It's about to start raining and you guys know the deal. I am a complete butt hurt whenever it comes to my second Jenny over here. Just can't drive it in the rain. Y'all know the deal. She's too damn pretty. <laughs> no, but seriously, I think I'm gonna wake up first thing tomorrow in the morning and I'm gonna pressure wash the fuel tank out of the old five here. And I think I got a, I think. I got a video idea for the second gen. I'm gonna go ahead and get a video going for you guys on it. But I was also just doing a once over of everything. Um, and this is what I definitely push on you guys. Do a once over, make sure that you've got everything ordered that you need ordered. Of course, there's gonna be a little stuff here and there, um, but like I ordered uh, a new uh, fuel rail supply line and this return line running from the fuel filter housing or your delete uh, to the back of the head. Um, but I forgot to order this hard line here. So I'm gonna go home and check it out and we'll have everything on the way. We're starting to get packages in. They're just, I think Tuesday, we should get the rest of our packages. Um, but we've, we've got a couple little things over there. We're waiting on some more stuff. Good God. Man, can you guys get enough of this truck? You guys just, you just wait for the next upload. You guys are gonna get all the goods. Um, but so we're taking a little blue home. I got it loaded down with some trash uh, and I got the fuel tank thrown in the bed as well. Uh, you guys can get a look-see down in here. There's some crud, that's for damn sure. There's a better look at that little divider I was talking about. What is this? What is this bad boy? I know I can get on Google and check it out, but I'd rather hear it from the source. What the hell is that? What is, is it a filter? Is it just a divider? Um, I don't know if it'll focus. Not 100% sure. You guys can see where our whole line ended up. I don't know what I was trying to say there. Uh, but so nonetheless, you guys can tell, it needs to be cleaned. I got it all stripped down. I got our sending unit right here. I'll go over that a little bit more in the following upload as well. Uh, following upload on the 05, that is, because second gen upload is next. Um, but we got just a bunch of old boxes and stuff like that. Hey, hey old air dog box. Um, but so hang on just one second, guys. So that's going to pretty much do it for this upload, you guys. Um, I know we just did a whole lot of talking, but we still got a bunch of stuff done. Uh, we're making a lot of progress on the 05. There's just a whole lot going all at once on that damn thing, as always. You guys know the deal. Um, but we're going to try to knock it all out at once. It's going to be down for the count for probably a couple more weeks, but that's fine. Uh, we got plenty of other stuff to do. We got plenty of stuff coming for old second Jenny. I'm excited about it. And like I say, stay tuned for the next upload after this one because uh, we'll have our basically first upload on the second gen. I know you guys really, really appreciate that truck, uh, the older trucks anyways in general. But anyway, I'm going to quit blabbing. Uh, I got to stop and get gas. We're going to go home, walk Max, cook dinner, hang out and edit for the rest of the night. But so if you guys aren't already, make sure you're subscribed and turn on that notification bell so that you're notified every time that we upload. You guys aren't going to want to miss out on future content. We got a lot to come. And make sure I don't lose my fuel tank back here. Ooh. But also, smash that big thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Per usual, let your boy know how he's doing. Uh, let, let me know if you got any ideas, anything you want to see on the channel. Y'all know what to do. So, with that being said, I'll catch you guys tomorrow in the next upload. Bye-bye.